Hey guys, you welcome back. It's Vibes Plus and I'm your truly ITL, the vital idol, keeping it real for Vibes Plus. Vibes Plus is a YouTube channel that's concerned with celebrity jest, trending issues, social media rants, and a little bit of politics. Well, I'm back with intriguing stories, but before we hit those stories, please, you know our culture, you know how we do it here. You should kindly like this video. Share it to all social media platforms so that your friends would enjoy the same content too. And if you're new here or you happen to stumble upon this content, please don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. Well, without further ado, let's hit the main gist. A Kenyan lady intentionally infects men that sleep with her with HIV AIDS. What? Yes, you heard me right. A lady in Kenya intentionally infects men with HIV AIDS. And we have a story of a Ghanaian sister that resides in the United Kingdom that was supposed to be refunded 9 euros, but the charity organization mistakenly sent 91,000 euros into her account. And guess what that sister did? Well, if you want to know what that Ghanaian sister did, wait till the end of this video. Let's dive into the Kenyan lady's story that infects men intentionally with HIV AIDS. You guys should stay glued to this channel. A Kenyan woman that goes by the name Jacqueline Njoki Mwangi has revealed that she knowingly infects men with HIV to punish them for not using protection. Mwangi, also known as Chichi Waendo, was first diagnosed with HIV as a teenager after sleeping with men for money to take care of herself and her nephew. This was after her mother left her and her sister in the care of her aunt to work in the United States of America. The 36-year-old who made the startling revelation on Thursday, September 17, in an interview with Kenya's online news portal Tuko, justified her actions, saying she picked the disease from an infected person who also did not care to warn her. Mwangi said, it's her sexual partner's responsibilities to protect themselves and not hers. At the end of the day, I cannot be your keeper. You know you don't know me. I am not related to you, yet you want to have sex with me. Why don't you wear a condom or take a test with me if I'm comfortable? And if I'm not, ask me to wear a condom, she poses. Kiki further revealed she decided to go public with her status because she wanted men to stop approaching her for sex after she developed complications in her private parts. Hmm. According to her, the condition has made her lose interest in sex after 18 years of selling her body to sexually hungry men for money. She also wanted to warn men against sleeping with every woman they come across and to create awareness and to ask her family to stop insulting her every other time. She blamed her walls on her mother who she claimed despised and mistreated her after she left the country to work in the United States. According to Kiki, her mother would send money to her aunt, but she never took care of them and when their mother learned of her new escapades, she maltreated her till date. She had to drop out of high school and when her uncle tried talking her into going back to school, that was when she was tested positive for HIV AIDS. It was heartbreaking. I stayed without taking medication but was just pushing on with life. At some point, I went up country and came back to Nairobi and that was when I attempted suicide, she said. Kiki now decries being abandoned by both her family and friends who know about her status. The stigmatization she faced has left her depressed and emotionally drained. Well, to be very honest with you guys, this story is touching. But truth be told, there are a lot of people that face worse things than what this lady faces. At this point in time, the society and parents need to take extra caution. We have a lot of things that are bedeviling the girl's child. A lot of girls are being raped on a daily. And now this happened because the mother actually went to look for greener pasture. And that was when the girl actually let loose. But if I may ask, where was their father? Because she didn't actually say anything about her dad. And this is really sad. A lot of people have been reacting to the story in a very negative light. People are really angry with her because normally she's supposed to be arrested. This is manslaughter. Why would you intentionally involve in sexual escapades with different men without protection and you don't even care about it? This lady needs to be arrested. To be very honest, in my own opinion, this lady needs to be arrested. But I don't know. If you think different of what I'm saying, please guys, you can drop your take in the comment section. Drop your take in the comment section. Let's have a little chit chat. And to guys out there, this story should actually serve as a lesson for all of us guys there. 
Sleeping around with no protection is just no no, it's a no no. Don't just try it. Because some of these ladies look very healthy. Just check out her picture. She looks very attractive. She's so cute. No man would look at this lady and want to actually let her go. But it's it's so sad. It's so sad that a lot of men are already infected. Even though scientifically they say the chances of a man getting HIV from a woman even after having an unprotected sex is 50% but that doesn't warrant any man to engage in a sexual activity without protection. But as for this lady, seriously, I think the government of Kenya should do something about her. She needs to be arrested. She needs to be arrested. Well, let's not take the whole day talking about this lady from Kenya. Let's move ahead to the story of another African sister in the United Kingdom. This lady goes by the name Comfort. I have all the story, the videos of how this lady was being reported on a worldwide media platform. This lady has a transaction with a charity organization in the United Kingdom. I didn't actually know something went bad. She went back for a refund of simply 9 euros. 9 what? 9 euros. And while she was home, that charity organization sent back the money but she happened to be credited with 91,000 euros <laughs> i don't know what's running through your mind right now i know you must be confused you'd actually start thinking if it should be well let's put it this way if you're in our shoes what would you do you're a peasant a poor person you don't have money you're supposed to be credited with nine euros and suddenly you are credited with ninety-one thousand euros abyss pounds yeah, it's euros. This lady just took it all upon herself to go out on a shopping spree. Could you imagine what this lady did? She spent 31,000 euros within 24 hours. Well, I don't have to be running all this flip-flop and chit-chats and all whatnot. You guys should watch the video and tell me what you feel because this lady is really crazy. She wasn't even taking the champagne with a glass, with the champagne glass. Rather, she was taking straight from the bottle, buying things up and down, sending money to West Africa and to friends and all whatnot. Well, you guys should watch this video and tell me what would be your reaction or what would be your action if you should be happen to be credited with such amount of money. Would you spend it or would you report it back to the authorities? Even though pertaining this case, this lady is actually undergoing processes to determine whatever happened and should definitely be punished. You know how the system is actually working over there. Well, that's it from me to you, but you guys should stay hooked. Watch this video and drop your comment in the comment section. But don't forget to like this video. Like it. That's our culture here. You should like this video and share it to all social media platforms so that your friends would enjoy the same content. Well, I'm yours truly, ITL, the Vital Ito, keeping it real for Vibes Plus. Enjoy the remaining video. Peace. They remain hopeful that the stolen funds can be recovered. Comfort Kanadu will attend a proceeds of crime hearing where attempts will be made to get back that £31,000. <laughs> Wow. For my watch, I incredible. Where you to be a little bit a no, no, no. You will bring you from your ripper, your ripper, your ripper, this ripper, your 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 ripper, your
Thanks.